So. Let's get into it. Ah, oh, fuck. It's getting wrapped up. There we go. Uh, Alright. Peace council time. God damn. Men of violence are gathered here. I should not have agreed to host this council. A graybeard death. But regret. Take your God. seat at the council. God. Angie is such a fucking downer all the time, isn't he? My God. Have some fun on gear, Jesus. Um, okay, where's the council? This way? Oh, I guess down here, probably. So, Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Oh yeah, yeah, blades. Wow, they just they didn't even respond, they just went through. That was, ah, interesting. Okay. Ah, everybody's favourite quest. If only there was some way to just skip all the dialogue in this. But you can't. You literally can't skip any of the dialogue. I don't, I don't, don't think. Because most of it isn't in direct conversation with me. Oh. Why are you motherfuckers so slow? My god. This isn't your chair, Einarth, you greedy bastard. Okay, let's go. Why do you... Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Please do. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you insult of... us by bringing Hang on. To this negotiation. Oh, there we go, they're taking their time. Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. <laughs> here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. This is true. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Uh, why do they keep asking me shit? Are we going to let Ulfric dictate terms to us? Maybe so, but we shouldn't be making concessions before negotiations even start. Blah, blah, blah. Well said. The sooner we can see the back of you. We walk then. No, we'll stay. <laughs> Out of respect for the Dragonborn and our Greybeard hosts. Good on you, Alfred. But she is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Balmor that's burning your thumbs and kicking Why is Elinwyn such a bitch? She's supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Elinwyn really shouldn't be here, should she? My god. First. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. I have to say, I can imagine this quest being interesting the third time you do it. It's Brittany, bitch. Oh, hey, Mark. Good to see you. I thought you said you were away this weekend. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yeah, oh. let's get this over with. Hello from Spain. Oh, yeah, there we go. You are, in fact, in Spain. That would make sense. Come on. Oh, my God. I should at least look at who's talking. I mean... I'm just going to select... You know what? I'm just going to select the top option in this entire process and see what happens. Because I do not care. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Ellison. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Select the stupid options. There aren't any stupid options, right? It's all just like the only options are Side with the Imperials, side with the Stormcloaks, that's it. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure 
sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yeah, this council does kind of annoy me yes, because there's no reason there is no reason to allow them to have Markarth because it's like because Markarth is like a big stronghold, very hard to take. Blah 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 blah. Um, and uh, he wants it in exchange for like what Dawnstar and Winterhold, which is a terrible deal. Oh my Since god. We're all here at your request. I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. I mean, like, neither of these two, see? This is the thing. It's like Markarth is better than either Riften or Dawnstar. I don't know which one of these is supposed to be worse. I mean, Riften's the larger city, but it's also a bit of a shithole. Whereas Dawnstar's tiny, but it does have, like, silver mines. I mean, I don't know. Rift would help secure our communications. See, it's like, why is Riften better? And threaten Ulfric's southern flank. Like, Riften seems to me like it's got fewer resources than Dawnstar. What the hell? Why are they standing up now? about these talks, or are you just here to foster? I expect a better from you, Dragon Boy. Look at this, I came here in good faith. He's acting like he's getting a raw deal when Riften is way better than Markarth. Uh, Markarth is way better than Riften. I see now that it's like, look at this! Why is he taking offense when he asked for Markarth? It doesn't make any sense. You as deluded as your emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. Oh wow, they're just leaving. You in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Yeah, Asburn, you fucking tell him. If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons mean? Alduin has returned, the world is. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. Yeah. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you Go, burn. Woo. for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do? Yes. Thank you, Alfred. Right That's the first time I've agreed with you. Both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now. Back to the matter at hand. I still don't understand why he's bitching. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Markarth's one of the most valuable and strongest cities in Skyrim. And now this bitch is coming out like, oh no, I can't give you Riften for Markarth. Like, I don't understand why you can't call Ulfric out for this. Riften for Markarth is more than fair. What say you, Dragonborn? Even the Dragonborn betray Skyrim. Yeah, fuck Ulfric. I realize I'm not picking the top options like I said I would. You know that. No, yes they are. Markarth Riften. This is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms with this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim, at least for the greater good, above our own interest. It seems we may have an agreement. Bitching about getting the better deal. Ulfric, My God. General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Edmund will step down. And Thunghor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackfriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. What was he saying, blatantly? F Again! They just don't. The um. But once Aldwin is defeated, the 
It's worth noting, like, why does he not ask for Whiterun? I don't understand that. Why does Ulfric not ask for Markarth? Which is going to be much harder for him to take, because it's completely isolated from the rest of his forces. It, none of this makes any sense. This quest is so dumb. It's not particularly interesting. And it's just... It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Ulfric literally comes out the gate demanding one of the most valuable cities in the entirety of Skyrim and then bitches when he has to give up one of the least valuable cities in Skyrim. Well, yeah, but he also has Markov, so... You know, why the fuck did I just receive a glass sword of scorching? Why did he just give me that? I mean, wow, that's really fucking valuable, but why did... What, why? Uh, whatever. I'm not even going to question it. I just get a random sword. Oh, I'm supposed to speak to Esben now? Maybe? Oh, there we go. All well and good. It's too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Justice demands that I am an unguessed cross reference of this. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. By calling the dragon with yeah, come on. Your I'm not going to kill Parthenax. Like that seems like a completely unnecessary risk. No well done for sitting through the bullshit, have a sword. <laughs> oh, God. Just me. say the word. That we my men will help you spring. Sword. But the difficulty remains how to cure a dragon. I mean, literally just had that conversation, so I'm going to leave. Blah, 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 blah. They're, they're literally going over what I just talked to Esben about. Ah, oh, okay. Now we had to Dragon's Reach. Well, no, we had to Windhelm first. In fairness, you have to get through Forsworn Infested Lands and Dragon's Bridge to reach Solitude while Windhelm from Riften is an easier go. That's true. And Riften does cut off... Because Riften is the main the main entrance way into Skyrim goes past Riften, doesn't it? So if you control Riften, you control a lot of supply lines into and out of Skyrim. Um, but at the same time, Riften as a city is not that valuable. Whereas Markarth contains the silver mines. Which is an incredible, an incredible resource to have access to, and Markarth is extremely difficult to take in war. It's probably the most fortified city in Skyrim. So, like, I don't know. It just seems to me like Ulfric bitching about having to give up Markarth for Riften is um, questionable. Fuck off, Nelson. I do what I want. Goddamn prudes. Also need to head to pick up my blessing of RK again. Hey, Quintus. Thank the gods. I'll get to work on the file straight away. Your boy. Give me that sweet, sweet damage bonus. Woo, baby. Let's go. I wonder if the white file stacks with other. It won't stack with another potion, surely, right? Master, look. It's the file. What? How? Marvelous. Filling with your speak. Marvelous. So stupid. Oh, I love it. You acted. Okay. I feared. So let's see. I'm not as skilled as Corral Mill. So that's five. Restores 500 health. Immunity to magic or 100% magic resistance for 60 seconds. I, I don't need that. Tougher in battle. Plus 500 health. Plus 500 magicka. Plus 50% damage for 60 seconds. And that's terrible. It's like 20% stealth or something. Um, 
Okay. I think the only one that's relevant is the 50% damage, right? Um... Because it's not even that good. It's 30 seconds. What? Hang on, this is 60, right? Holy fuck. That's not even really better than what I can make. Jeez. They nerfed the white file hard. I swear that used to be... That definitely used to be double damage for 60 seconds. They, they really nerfed that. I wonder if it stacks. Would be interesting to see. I'm not, I'm not sure if it stacks. I think this is it, though, isn't it? We're just heading to Skaldafen now. We just have to trap Odaving and then... And then we're good to go. I don't think I've got any more prep to do. Might want more of these, actually. Because I can see myself getting through four, just getting through... Skaldafen itself. And I need some for the Alduin fight. I might need two for the Alduin fight. I, nah, I can't imagine that fight taking ten minutes. Not with my damage output. Um... Uh, maybe we'll make two more. Okay, let's let's head to the college and get ourselves some uh, another set of void salts. Oh, I've got summon scrolls as well. That's relevant. Uh, beef stew, elsewhere fondue, venison stew. That should be fine, I think. And I've got the one amethyst. Well, I've got a load of salt on my horse, so we should be fine. Where's my horse? Ah. My horse is going to be, like, in the stables somewhere, I guess. Ah, uh, I can just whistle for her. Um, horse whistle. There you are. Bolt. Nice. And then... Uh, I believe the only thing I need is any soul gem. Here's me, Brelina. Okay. Um, pretty sure there's no more enemies left, but fuck it. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, that's a quest that was added by Immersive College of Winterhold. I don't think I've ever done that quest. Eh. I'm kind of wanting to just finish off the character. I might do that with a character that's like a dedicated mage at some point. But... That's like a special quest that you only get access to after you've already beaten the... Um, Beaten the game. Oh, not beaten the game. You know what I mean. Beaten uh, the college quest line. There we go. That's all I needed. All I wanted, in fact. Um, now we can head back out. And down to Whiterun.
make up one more magic resistance potion and then we should be golden. Guess I should have checked my horse for ingredients, but I think I should already have the ingredients that I need. Magic resistance and fortify magicka. Not that I think the Fortify Magic is going to make too much of a difference against Alduin, but still worth having. I guess it's good for Skilled Affen. It's not like I lose anything by adding it on either. Ah! Word spreads. Hopefully, long enough. Okay. Does this magic... Like oh. Oh, shit. Something? I did not realize it was night time. I guess I should have from the fact that it's dark outside. But, you know. You never can, count. You never can tell in this game. Oh, I should put some clothes on. Come back anytime. You need you look so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah, so we need one fortify magicka and one resist magic. Well let's resist magic. Ectoplasm works. Good day. Oh, and I need to put on my alchemy equipment, of course. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Nice. And that's it. That's everything. I don't think I need anything else. Um, I'm doing fine on elemental resistance potions. Fuck then I resist fire, which I don't really need. Then resist frost and resist shock. Should be golden. I can basically keep those up for the entire rest of the game, I think. And if I'm honest, I have four Daedra Heart potions. I could probably, each one of those lasts for two minutes, I could probably keep up a Daedra Heart Potion for the entire Alduin fight. I don't think it'll last longer than eight minutes. Obviously I'm not going to, because that would be stupid, but I could. Drop that dragon. Booyah. We're ready, dragon. As I promised. My men my men know what to do. Nice. Make sure okay. do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Oh hang on. I forgot to pick up my blessing of Arcade, right? Let's go get the blessing my of Arcade. Know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Father says I'm too young to change the sword. So I crash it. <laughs> Oh. 
Need to go get that blessing. Don't want to lose out on a uh, bunch of Magicka regen, and more importantly, a hundred health. Which is quite a lot of health. I think it's a hundred. Let's check. So I currently have 795. Okay, so obviously that's going to have gone down. 725, yep, but there we go. <laughs> that's a cool I've never heard that one before. Yeah, so it adds, it adds 100. Uh, and it looks like Transmute is currently giving me 170, which is pretty fucking good. The low, low cost of one spell. Oh, shit. Um. Kind of want to level up. Just so I can have exactly a thousand health. That feels pretty good. I want to have exactly a thousand health. Let's see. Best way to level up will probably be a speech, maybe, if I sell a load of crap. Yeah, let's just offload, because I don't need the money. So I can just offload all of it to anyone here. Give everything away and see if we can get that speech up. Got a lot of steel to Gods be praised. Uh, let's do eminent haggling, just because... Um, hmm? Gods be praised. That will get me slightly more money, even though it doesn't actually get me more money. I ain't much for and obviously I need to put Gods my clothes on. Otherwise the motherfucker doesn't give me any money. Staff of Magnus. I actually kind of want to hold on to that. Do I? Nah, fuck it. That'll boost my speech. That'll boost my speech a lot. Okay, did you actually? Hang on. It's an honorable crap. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I've trained this level. Booyah. Exactly 900. And then with the Golder Amulet... That's 950, and with Beef Stew, that will take me up to exactly 1,000 hit points. Want to get over that four-digit threshold. By my reckoning, Alderine will be doing about 300 to 350 damage per attack to me. Which means it will take him four attacks to kill me, which is crazy. Um, I can actually do the maths quickly. Because I have 11.35 armor. So he is going to be doing about 309 damage per hit to me. If my uh, estimations are correct. I don't know why I'm coming to speak to you. No one gives a fuck about you. Got my circle, got my amulet, make sure I've got my buffs active. Obviously this one's active, otherwise I wouldn't be able to uh, go anywhere, but... Ode Arving. Okay. Hey, Belgroof. You ready? You do play okay, cool. Now I'm going to save because, again, this is very glitchy and can glitch very often. <gasps> that work there we go okay now this is the glitchy part is sometimes this motherfucker will literally just fly over here and then um never stop flying 
Okay, good. He turned. There we go. He did what he was supposed to do. Now, I believe he's a fire dragon. I'm just going to quickly pop fire resist. Not super relevant. Given that I already have 66% resistance. Preventus, what the fuck are you doing here? You realize we're fighting a dragon, right? Oh, I need to uh, dragon rend him, don't I? Forgot about that. Come on, land. Land, buddy boy. Come at me, Odor Um. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to come in. There we go, come on, come on. Yeah, why the fuck were you even here in the first place, Preventus? That seems like a terrible plan. There we go. Cool. Gotcha, bitch. It's amazing how well that worked. many of among ourselves. Once he has his door been door to lost often him lamb. Blah blah blah. Well, only of course I could fly on a and you free me. And I will carry you to Skaldarfin. I love the dragon voices. That sort of raspy voice. It, it sounds really cool. Oh, come on. Something to tell you. sure about that? Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. It's like, what? You're just going to stand by while the dragon burns and murders everyone, huh? You're like, well, I did my job. What happens if I just stand on this? I'm just going to stand on this. Yeah, that's why it's my decision, not yours. Bitch. I am standing on thin air. Ha. Huh. What happens when this thing gets raised, then? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look how glitchy that is. I'm glad I used feather falling, otherwise that could have really hurt. I just glitched through the goddamn wood. Going for a walk, so we're back in a bit. Well, by the time you get back, I may well be done. But, uh, yeah, I will, I will see you around if you're... If I'm not... Okay, buffs. Use them all now. Make sure I've got everything active. Feather falling. Okay, so mage armor's up. Transmute's up, but I probably need blur. Let's go. I don't believe I have any other preparations that I need to make. Maybe I do, and I'm a fucking idiot, but I'm pretty sure we're good. Oh, look, there's a dragon over there. Huh. Perfect. Okay. Now then. Let's head off. There should be another dragon somewhere. I don't know where. There it is. Okay, so the dragons come out. Uh, I mean, I see no reason to fuck about with any of this, really. There's the second dragon. Okay, where's this guy? He should be able to do very little to me. That looks like a fire dragon, if I had to guess. At least he said y'all. Though it didn't actually do anything. There we go, yep. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, now this needs repoisoning. Um. Got him again. Nice, okay. So that dragon's probably going to die to poison. It might not. It looks like it's got quite a lot of health, that one. Um, that's that one. Couldn't tell if I killed him. It's always hard to tell. Is that the other dragon? I really can't see. What is that red dot? Oh no, it's just another dragon. Okay. Dragon's landed. Nice. Okay. Um... At which point, in which case, let's go for lightning speed and just finish it off. See no reason to do otherwise. Uh, oh, it's glitched. Damn, slow time's glitched. Okay, in which case... Oh, fuck! That was my last save? Are you kidding me? 
It doesn't auto save when I arrive at Skeldafen? Fuck. I didn't think about that. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's annoying. Among ourselves, once he has his been to lost or fun. Ah. Well, well, that's irritating. No, of course. Doesn't make too much of a difference. I could fly. Um, Onik and you free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. I can't believe you sure about that. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there. Can I stand on this guy? Yeah, hey, look at me. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna feather fall him just in case something really glitchy happens here. Turn me around, turn me around! Carry me, dragon! Oh fuck. Oh. Okay, are we are we leaving or what, bud? There we go, come on. Now, as I say, buffs. So that I've used them. Yo, how it goes? Hey, well, it's good to see you. Well, you caught me at the opportune moment because we're just about to head to uh, Daffin. There we go. For the second time, as it happens, because um, slow time bugged out. So I may need to, I may end up needing to restart the game um, because slow time. Once it bugs once, it has a tendency to keep bugging uh, until you reset. Hang on, I'm just gonna make sure I do have my buffs active, right? My jammers up, transmutes up, yeah, perfect. It looks like no time passes at all. Yeah, it takes almost no time to get from. Uh... There we go. From Dragon's Reach to Skilldaffen. Uh, okay, so we want all the resistance potions. Hello. Where's the dragon? There we go. One poison shot. Now then, unequip, reequip, and repoison and shoot again. Oh fuck. I think the second shot missed. I think it flew off. I wasn't expecting to fly off that quickly after the fire went away. Never mind. It's not like I'm wasting these. These are literally the only two remaining dragons which are vulnerable to poison. Um, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Okay, let's go with slow time for this one. And now we get to see whether this is bugged again. And as I say, if it is, I just need to reset my, uh, my game. Fuck me, I'm glad I had Feather Falling active. Actually, that fall is less far than it looked. Did I have Feather Falling active? I do. But shit. That, I just stepped off the edge. God damn. Well. Well, that could have been bad. Uh, it actually looks like that fall wasn't wasn't as far as it looked. Um, but. Maybe I did get it with the second poison shot. Because this dragon's... That poison seems to be working pretty quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's two shots worth of poison. Well, our dragon's dead. Um, in which case, I was going to use slow time. Might as well use it on these guys. And yeah, it's bugged. I should have saved four years ago. I knew it might bug. Okay, yeah, we need to we need to um, quit the game and then reload because that prevents it. Because that slow time spell is pretty fucking important. For my strategy as a whole. So, uh, this run has probably been one of the luckiest runs I've ever had. Because there have been several times in this run where I've almost died, but haven't because of luck. 
like the fight against the first fight against Alderine where I forgot to use my resistance potions, um, with the, which was earlier this stream. Then uh, nearly dying at um, Dagon's shrine when I jumped off the edge without realizing that transcendence had gone off, like all that kind of shit. Okay. Um, Have I got my fortify alteration? No, I do not. Okay. Um, and this should hopefully work. There we go. You can see it's actually going down like normal. Oh. Hopefully I can deal enough damage to this thing. Uh, that seems very slow. Hang on. Hopefully I can deal enough damage to this thing, yeah, before it takes off again. I need to keep doing the charging power attacks, which is what I'm doing. Because that does the most damage, or at least has the highest crit, crit chance. There goes that dragon. Okay. Now let's buff up Valendron. This is what these Grand Soul Gems are for, after all. Just to keep me permanently in stamina. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of guys. You know what would be good right now? Not, no, not fucking slow time or telekinetic grab. Although telekinetic grab actually would be fucking hilarious. But um, let's go with lightning speed. Wherever the hell that is. There we go. Nyeh. Hide around this corner. Just cast it again. Why are there no red dots on my radar? You're not naked. You're wearing luck as your armor. You are absolutely right. Why are these guys not showing up on my radar? That is surprising. Are they not aggroed on me? What's going on? Because they don't seem to be attacking me either. I mean, obviously right now I'm in slow time, but like... Yeah, I'm a little confused about what's going on here. I'm just going to stand here. Okay, they don't seem to be able to figure out that I'm here. That's really annoying. Um, guess we're reloading. Oh, fuck. Why's that happened? Please tell me that's not going to keep happening. Oh, shit. There we go. There's the edge that I nearly went off last time. Aye. Motherfucker just took off, didn't he? Ah, too late. Okay. Um, yeah, why aren't... Why why aren't these guys aggroing on me? I find that odd to say the least. Yeah, that guy wasn't aggroed either. That that wasn't the red dot that I'm seeing. The only enemies that seem to be aggroed are the dragons. Yeah, this is okay, this is really fuck. I don't know what to do about this. Hmm, okay, hang on, let me try something. Uh, Skyrim enemies not aggroing. No, these seem to be different issues. Okay. Because I've never seen this bug before. Um. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Can I, like, fast travel? I can't, because there's some enemies on the radar. And also, oh, I can't fast travel to Skuldafen anyway, can I? Um. Right. This is... This is a real problem. Because there's not much point in doing this, doing this if the enemies aren't going to fight me, right? Fuck, let's just go back to Dragon's Reach, reload the area. Yeah, I've never seen this. I've never seen that either. Um, God, this, so this is the third time I'm going to have to start this fight. Kind of annoying. Hopefully this fixes it. Otherwise, I'm not sure what to do. I mean, it's not like I'm going to struggle too much with dealing with those guys, but, you know, I, I want to play the game. <laughs> Oh, 
bravest person I've ever met. I'm the biggest fool. May Kinneret guard you while you pass through the realm. Okay, um... Let's check. I did set up my buffs, right? Yeah, yeah, thank god. Uh, only one I'm missing is Blur. Not for fuck's sake. Just, do it. Just get it through this menu. Okay, um... I'm not seeing the red dots. Okay, there's one, there's one, there's one. Promising. Hang on, I need to use these potions. There we go. That's more fucking like it. Really weird glitch, but it seems like it was a one-off of some kind. Um, okay. Where's the dragon? Let's deal with the dragon first. Um, and I think I need to re-poison this. I do. Where is the dragon? I can't see it. There it is. There we go. Oh, hell. That is a Death Lord. Now, double check. Feather Falling active, yes? Good. Uh, okay. What? That was terrible. Uh, okay. That dragon should just incidentally die, I think. Um, let's keep up the lightning speed and see what we can do. Is that the dragon? Oh no, that's a frost ocean arc. Okay, good. I don't need to reload the fucking game. It's not glitching out. I don't actually know if that guy's dead. Uh, looks like no, because it just keeps jumping to the dragon's health bar. There we go, now he's dead. Uh, I guess let's just get in on the dragon, right? Kill it as fast as possible. I should be using my 200 buff potions. I've got so many of them. Why am I not using them? Nice. Okay. Uh, I guess I, I say I've got so many. I've only got like 10. Only got 10 minutes worth. Uh, let's recharge Belendron. There we go. Okay. Look at those red dots. That's more beautiful. That's more like it. What am I looking at here? Where's the other dragon? Because there should be another one. I think it must be that red dot, right? Unless that's an archer. That <laughs> one just died with its sword, like, mid-pose. That's crazy. I think that's an archer, right? This red dot. Uh, maybe? What? Clearly there's something. Is that a dragon priest? How can I not see? What the fuck is this red dot? Seriously. Oh, it's an enemy down there. Okay, so this is Feather Falling, right? Feather Falling's active? Yes, let's drop down. Join this guy. That's a long way. I don't know, that fall might genuinely have been fatal if I hadn't had Feather Falling active. That was crazy lucky. Uh, okay. I guess the Jorga... Right, it's fallen in the water. I hate the fact that you can't do anything about enemies that have fallen in the water. Oh, it's, the, it's that glitch again, where if you paralyze them and then they fall under the water... It registers the water as their zone. So I'm going to have to... I have to use a console command. We've run into this bug before. Um, I mean, it takes one hit to kill him, but I'll be incapable of hitting him because he's under the water and the game doesn't let you hit things underwater. Really daft change from previous games. Because every previous game, you, you absolutely could just hit things underwater. Um, but they decided to remove that for Skyrim for some reason. Keep an eye on my resistance potions. Want to be careful about how many of them I'm using, because I do want them for the Alderaan fight. And ideally, I need to... Where the fuck... Where the fuck is the other dragon? That's the thing that's causing me problems right now. Um, okay, so we want lightning speed. Sort of my alteration. Let's go. Fortunately, they can't knock me down with boost red R's. There we go, and let's do this shit. Yeah. 
Okay, um, I don't actually know if they're dead. They're, neither of them are dead. Wow, am I really dealing so little damage with power attacks? Huh. That's surprising. Okay, um... Where's the Dragon Priest? Okay, let's deal with the Dragon Priest first. Oh, that's a lot of health. Okay, yeah, I need, uh, I need lightning speed active. Um... My damage output is lower than I would like. Okay, um... This is more enemies than I remember being here, I've got to be honest. Drop down here. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now, where's the fucking priest? There he is. That's not the Dragon Priest. I got stuck on a different Draugr. Wonderful. Okay, it bugged out and clipped me through him. Oh, why am I struggling to kill this guy so much? Like, this is fucking hell. I'm doing so little damage. And he's just going to regenerate it all. Oof. Okay, uh, how are my resistance potions doing? 55 seconds. Um. Damn, this character really struggles with groups, huh? Okay. Used actual slow time because it's way faster to get it off. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Sideways. Sideways power attacks. Please. No, sideways power attacks. Fucking hell. I can't move sideways because there's enemies in the way. There we go. Which means I can't get the sideways power attacks off. Oh, and again. And again. And again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sideways power attacks. That is my only source of AoE. Like, it's literally the only one I've got. There we go. Okay. I killed a decent number of them, but fuck me. Uh, and now we need the resistance potions. Frost seems to be the most important one. Because I'm thinking maybe I don't actually have enough resistance potions. I wasn't anticipating there being this many Draugr here. Uh, I didn't remember quite how many there were. Don't think I need shock. Um... I think I'm getting away with it without. Uh, let's use some healing potions. Uh, oh, that's shock resistance. I was worried that my arm um, fucking... Oh my god, look at this! This is crazy! Oh my god. It's also hard to tell which ones are dead and which ones aren't because uh, I'm paralyzing the ones that I hit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god, look at this. This is mental. Keeping an eye on my resistances, on my buffs, making sure they're all corrected for now. Oh, well, that's the other dragon. Hang on. Uh, that looks like a... Poison dragon, shit. Okay, um... I have resist poison. Let's pop resist poison just in case it is. I don't have any. Oh yeah, I do. They're, they're, they're there. I don't know why I was looking up at the top. Might also be a shock dragon. Um... Poison's good. Okay. It is a, um... It's a frost dragon. Oh. Solid hit, sir. Okay, uh, let's bust out the lightning speed again if we can. Um, where is it? What if I alteration? Okay. Oh, stagger, motherfucker! I didn't even realize there was one next to me, staggering me. You know what? Let's just let's just go with it, right? Make sure we're keeping this thing in charge to keep 
restoring my stamina and paralyzing these guys. Maintain the stun lock. Move. So that dragon will do a decent amount of damage to me. Okay, let's, uh... Nice bite, bird. Fuck you. There we go. Dragon down. Uh, I'm ignoring the dragon priest for now. Because at the moment, everything... Okay, that guy's glitched. He's dead, but he's glitched. I think he's dead. Oh, he is now. He was just glitched. Okay. Whew. Now that we're through all of that, because fuck me running, uh, let's see if we can deal with this dragon priest with a dedicated series of attacks. I mean, I realize I don't have to kill these guys. I could just walk past them, but where's the fun in that? Okay. Fuck. I hate the fact that it sort of glitches out and makes you kind of charge through them. Um, let's recharge this just to make sure that I can maintain stamina. Because this Dragon Priest... I swear I was doing more damage than this to the Dragon Priests before. Am I wrong? Because this... Do I don't seem to be getting even close to killing him in the time. Whereas before I was killing them before Slow Time wore off. Okay, I'm struggling to hit this fucker. My damage output is clearly higher than he can handle, but like... Only just. There we go. Is it me, or does my damage seem really low? I don't know. I guess, like, these guys are obviously very, very sturdy, but... Oh, hang on, I just realised, maybe I was getting the dragon... Maybe before I was getting the, all the dragon priests, before they got, um, their mage armour up. I think that's probably it, right? Because previously I was getting them before their mage armour went up. That would make sense. Okay. Fuck me sideways. That was a that was a hell of a hell of a battle now, wasn't it? Jesus. And that's only the first area. There's a bunch more of these. Pretty sure there's another dragon priest somewhere around here. I don't know if I'm going to bother killing Narkreen or if I'm just going to head straight into the Sovereign Guard portal. Ah, oh, there's a Dragon Priest. Oh, uh, looks like Transmute's about to wear off. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... You know what? I don't know why I'm bothering to kill all these guys. I think I'm just going to head inside. Like... I can kill them, but I'm burning too many resources. I want to maintain quite a few a few more resources. I'll kill anything which follows me, obviously. Just so we can have a safe space. Okay, never mind. Looks like everyone's following me. Okay. Um, in which case, I'm going to do that, I think. Oh, we can use the crappy one. Oh, that's... There we go. See, that's more like the kind of damage I was expecting. I guess the other Dragon Priest was just like a tougher Dragon Priest or something? I'm not sure. Unclear. There we go. That's better. Now, again, for the sake of restoring stamina. And then, same again. Whoa! Whoa! Is it me, or am I suddenly doing way more damage than I was before? Huh. Okay, well, that worked. <laughs> and it looks like that's everyone that followed me. Perfect. Okay. Love the way that gear is just hanging in the air. I'm just going to redo Mage Armor, because I don't know if it's wearing off. And I don't want it to wear off. Before I'm ready for it to wear off. 
Um. Oh well, that's a good hit. Have a bunch of heals. Jesus. Oh, hang on, let me just double check. Look at that. A thousand health. Oh, that feels good. Nice block, buddy. Come on. There we go. More like it. Uh, now, this is Snake. This is Whale. And then this one. Which one's the way to go? It's Snake, right? Um... Da 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 Why does my enchanting go up so quickly from recharging? Like that feels really fast. Okay. We've got a mage here. Um in which case let's just old school tactics. Oh, suddenly that's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of red dots that just appeared. What the fuck? I guess that's the next room, but holy crap. Oh, it's spiders, it's baby spiders. Alright. Uh, okay, hang on. I have no poison resist right now, and I don't want to waste my poison resistance potion on fighting, uh, Draugr. Because I assume the reason why there's so many dots is because they're all baby spiders. They can see me, which means they can shoot me with poison. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's just go in with lightning speed. I'll pop the resistance potion, and we can use... Whoop, there we go. Nice miss, bud. Okay, I will pop the potion. Here we are. Oh, there's babies. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, there's two big ones. Look at this. One, and back the other way. Nope, that didn't work. Never mind. Okay. That's those two down. Very glitchy sound effects there. Fuck off, bud. Just make sure I am wearing the gold amulet and everything good, yeah. I assume most of those red dots are frostbite spiders. Um, because that would make sense for being the enemies where there's like an army of them. Because there's usually an army of them. Could be Draugr though. It's not impossible that that is genuinely all Draugr. Because this is the kind of environment where you do get that many Draugr. Oh, wow, well, it's too far away apparently. <laughs> Finally getting around to buffing my block. Keep missing that motherfucker. Okay. Right. Now we have a problem because I have my resist magic potions have worn off. So I need to be careful about these because I need enough of these for the Alduin fight as well. Um, though I think the Alduin fight is going to wind up being relatively short. I'm going to use slow time the shout this time. I think. Um. I also need more stamina. And 200 buff wouldn't go amiss. Oh, I'm really slow. Okay. Okay, good. They're not super tanky dragon priests then. One. Back the other way. Two. Back the other way. If I can kill both of these, that would be amazing. Don't think I can. Let's just deal with this one. Don't know how much damage I've done to this one. Ah, uh, decent damage, decent damage, decent damage. Okay. Nice. Come on, finish him, finish him, finish him! Finish the fucker, please! Thank you, there we go. 
Okay, keep an eye on the health. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that, but, um... I've got so many stamina potions. Might as well just use them now. Oh my god, that's a lot of death lords, isn't it? Okay, sideways power attacks, please. Sideways power attacks. That's the AoE. One. Two. Oh, that one doesn't actually have a lot of health. That one's got a lot of health, rather. There we go. Cool. Got him. Woof. I have to say... I think I mentioned this last time. I think they've buffed up Skuldafen in this patch. Because I do not remember it being this um, tough. Hawk. Well. And. Finally, it's Snake. Ooh. Mama, that was a uh, hell of a thing, wasn't it? Okay. Now, I've got my resistance potions active, but I don't think I need them. I think this is the way back out to Skildafen, right? Oh, no, no, we're still inside. I thought this was the way back outside, but I guess I'm wrong. Nope, there's another level of this temple. Huh, damn. Shot. Hey, buddy. You can just calm down. There we go. Yeah, maybe I should have stocked up on potions, because as I say, I was not expecting this dungeon to take this long. Guess I didn't remember how long it was. Um. Nope. Don't you fucking dare block me, bitch. Uh, let's pull that. There we go. Want to burn through it as quickly as possible before these uh, resistance potions wear off. Once we get to the top, like I say, I'm going to ignore um, Narkreen and I'm just going to jump straight in the portal. Hello, Sar. There we go. Has he got the claw? He does. Diamond. Fox. Moth Dragon. Okay. Fox. Moth Dragon. Nice. It's a quick one. Okay. Oh. There we go. I can just pop as many of these fucking stamina potions as I want. I've got hundreds of them. I mean, I don't know. But functionally, I might as well have hundreds of them. I could probably maintain these stamina potions for the entire rest of the game. <laughs> if I really wanted to. Oh, it's Stormcall. Okay, now this should be the way back outside, I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Now, let's see if we can get to the portal as soon as possible. Which way am I going? This way. There we go. Don't give Nakreen any time to grab his staff. I could try and kill Nakreen. Let's see how much damage I do. Oh my god. Because he doesn't have um, mage armor active. So, you know what? Fuck it. Let's kill him. Pretty sure there are other dragon priests, but I'm going to kill him, I'm going to grab his mask, and then I'm going to jump in the portal. Wait for so time to wear off, so I can loot him. There we go. Oh, and he's got a bag of holding, too. Nice. Booyah! There we go. Yeah, if you can get in before the dragon priests set up their mage armor, you can kill them real fast. Okay. The world eater diary is done. And... You know what time it is, chaps? Um, 
It's been about an hour. I really need the loo, and I want to make myself a cup of tea before we take on the final fight. So obviously the final stretch of this stream is probably not going to be another hour. I would be astonished if it took me an hour from here to kill Alduin, but I'll be back very shortly, and we will be finishing this run, either because I win or because Alduin fucking murders me. And given the way I performed against the hordes of Draugr, I'm very concerned about what's going to happen if Alduin summons the Wrathmen, because... I might struggle with that. Now, I do have a bunch of scrolls for, like, Aetherarch summons and things, which I may end up using here. We'll see. And it's also possible that I just kill Alduin relatively quickly, because my damage is sort of one of the best... This is one of the highest damage characters I've had, because 200 characters always are. So, anyway, I'm going to pop off. I'll be back in a tick. Don't go anywhere.